Compassion may be a familiar word in the fundraising arena. Fashion is certainly a new twist. Tomorrow night, runway models will debut designer outfits crafted from used clothing and accessories found at hospices thrift stores. The evening, entitled Wild Night on the Catwalk, will benefit the Brattleboro Area Hospice um, and its work to assist terminal patients and their families, all while producing a spectacular night of glitz and glamour. Duchesne Show's very own Duchesne Peacock. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in to talk to us a little bit about uh, this event. Maybe Thank I can you. just get you to start off by talking about just a little bit with the clothes and then we'll yeah. work our way up through the whole process there. Tell us a little bit about what it's like. The designers are taking the clothes from experienced goods and they're refashioning them into, you know, fancy, cool, outrageous, wild you know, outfits for the runway. So it's really cool. Wild night on, on the, the catwalk. catwalk. Woo Makes you younger, right? So I'm getting my makeup done right now. We have like five minutes until the show. And um, so it's kind of like brush, 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 get the eyelashes on, get the lipstick on. And Erin um, is doing my makeup, and I'm so excited. She is awesome. All right, here we go. Oh, it's freezing cold. Okay, come on in. Hi, welcome, welcome, red carpet. <laughs> Hello, wave to the camera, you're on TV. This is a live event. There you go, get wild, people. <laughs> Just smile big, smile very big. So what inspired you to come to this event tonight? Well, we support Hospice, of course. It's a wonderful organization. And we thought it'd be fun to be on the red carpet. And here you are on the red carpet. How do you feel? Wonderful. Fabulous. I'm excited to be dressed like Daddy Warbucks tonight. 90% of all my wardrobes come from thrift shops all over the place. Uh, my name is Patty Pusey and I am a hospice board member and I'm also part of the committee. So I And a lot working. and have had a lot to do with this yes. show. We've been working hard for a whole year on the show. It's Vermont and it's fashion. <laughs> this is a rental tux from Vermont Artisan Design, so I didn't I also didn't recreate this, although it has been used and reused, I'm sure. Who knows what sort of experienced goods happened in this suit? This is like the paparazzi <laughs> backdrop thing. Where did you get five dollar beautiful shoes? Salvation Army on 96th Street, West Side, New York City. <laughs> This is Meg Mott, Meg Mott from Marlboro College. Yeah. What inspired you to come to this event tonight, Meg? Uh, that Shea Peacock was going to be here. I wanted to see what she was going to wear. <laughs> Very glamorous. I love the uh, revolutionary and little sh special shoes. It's like you're in a revolution, but at a wedding or a funeral as well. It's a fashion revolution. It's <laughs> happening right here in Brattleboro, Vermont. Why don't you just say the truth? You just came here to see really hot, beautiful women strut their stuff. Well, yes, of course. Okay, go in, bid, auction, cash bar, get drunk. Okay. Hey, let's go in and let's go get a drink. Here's somebody we can talk to right over here. I see some pink hair. Let's go find out about this pink haired person. What's your name? Pedro. 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 P A E D R. Pedra. 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 You got it. <laughs> How many people do you think are here tonight? 500. Hey, we want to see your hair. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see your hair. Under this hat, I have a little mohawk, but I'm too scared to take my hat off. But you're rocking it. You look awesome. Tell us about your outfit. Well, this is from Experience Goods. 
prime example of how you can look totally cool in vintage wear. So are you excited about tonight? Are you going to oh, get this wild? Is cool. No, this, this is fun. Have you ever seen anything like this in Brattleboro? Nothing. Who's ready for a wild night on the catwalk? Hi, everybody. I'm your host, Daddy Warbucks. Thank you all so much for coming tonight. The first group, Cynthia Nims. Maria Vignetti and Chris McDermott. to present to you tonight, in Southern Vermont, no less, Comrade Lamar. Kira Lewis. And who is your designer, Kira? Alice Vogel. Tell us about what you're wearing. I'm wearing refurbished material from um, the bottom is recycled men's shirts, um, and in the front, some other recycled material. Um, and I am the counterpart to the bride. So I am the bridegroom wearing a double breasted coat. Here we are with Renee Guerrier. And we just saw all of your beautiful, fabulous designs on the runway. How did it feel for you to see your models on stage all dressed up in your clothes? Amazing. It, it felt like I was doing the right thing. I started to cry. My outfit is somewhat of a 1700s looking dress, completely hand sewn, lace, and about at least two or three layers of tulle. You look really tall. Are you wearing gigantic heels under there? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you're just super tall. Who's your designer? Pamela Moore. Tell us a little bit about your dress. It's actually new old stock. It's several dresses reinvented into one with addition of lots of fluff and frosting and many hours of hard one labor. Uh, I'm wearing a, a moleskin dress with lace cutouts and it's fun to entertain and show such a beautiful piece and share it with the crowd. Well, we all have this joke all the people on the core committee. We were all in labor for the last year and a half and we just birthed our baby. This was fabulous, far beyond our wildest dreams. How does it feel now that you've seen your models on the runway? Um, awesome. I think I'm going to go home and crash. And it takes the community to make it as fabulous as it is. It's been a good three months of working my butt off for this.
Conrad Lemoore, and this is a great opportunity because Conrad is an awesome fashion designer, like the real deal thing, and has shown in Milan, in New York City, in Boston, and now Brattleboro, Vermont. So what was it like for you being here and seeing how this show came together and being part of this process? I was very pleased because I know it took a lot of work to put everything together, and at the end, there was no difference between this show and a show in New York or a show in Boston. It wasn't a good show for Vermont, it was a good show in general for, for fashion. I feel lucky tonight because I am wearing one of your dresses right now as we speak. And oh, I gotta say, I've never worn so many sequins and it's pretty it's pretty hot. And do you feel like you're in your sweet spot right now? When I'm at a certain level, then I, I can say I'll, I'll be in my sweet spot. But for now, the whole point of the whole fashion week, it cannot be successful without everybody involved being successful. It's not about me. When it's about me, it's about my fashion and me as a designer. As a fashion week, it's about everybody involved. That's right, but you know, you gotta have that energy and you gotta have that passion and you gotta be a leader to make it happen and you, you helped us out tonight. So we wanna say thank you. And we wanna say thank you for being on the Deshay Show. Thank you, Deshay. And it's great to meet you. Yep. And I hope you come back to Brattleboro and rock it. Let's bring them all out one more time.